Doctors from the Centers for Disease Control were in San Francisco today to unveil new nationwide guidelines for fighting hepatitis B. And their recommendations closely resemble a program recently launched in the city. Carolyn Johnson is here now with the story, Carolyn. Well, Cheryl and Dan, you know, some scientists believe that hepatitis B could be eradicated in two generations or less if there were widespread vaccinations worldwide for hep B. San Francisco has the highest rate of liver cancer in the country and launched a two-year campaign to change that. We are in the process of getting every Asian screen tested and also treated uh, if they do not have insurance. Uh, that is our commitment. Assemblywoman Fiona Ma, who was born with the hepatitis B virus, underscored the importance of the new CDC guidelines unveiled at the Chinatown Health Center. The city has led a major effort on testing and vaccinating Asian and Pacific Islanders. It's a population that's four times as likely to die from liver cancer caused by hep B than Caucasians. Uh, I was born with hepatitis B through my mother. Uh, my sister, who was 26 years old, does not have hepatitis B because she was vaccinated at birth. Now the CDC is recommending testing and vaccinations nationwide for groups at highest risk. People born in Asia or African countries with high concentrations of hepatitis B, sexually active gay men, IV drug users, and patients with unexplained liver issues. This type of movement that's why we need all around the country to do a much better job um, nationally of uh, having the same uh, impact uh, on hepatitis B transmission and disease. Experts say hepatitis B is responsible for more than half the cases of liver cancer worldwide. But advances made at research centers like UCSF have resulted in new drugs in the last five years which can help block the virus from attacking the liver of patients already infected. What we know is that if you get treatment when your disease is active and you get rid of the virus from your blood, you have a much, much, much lower chance of getting cancer in the future. The CDC also plans to support outreach programs similar to the Hep B Free initiative launched in San Francisco, which has so far vaccinated an estimated 4,000 people. Hopefully other cities can um, learn from our lessons. We're still learning, you know, along the way. Now, Santa Clara County is also beginning a similar screening program along with the University of California. And if you'd like information about the free screenings already available in San Francisco, just go to our website, abc7news.com, and click on See It on TV. Interesting. Mm -hmm.